Okay, so we thought we'd uh, follow up the thermal imaging video with some real video. Um, might might have done it back to front, but uh, but you know, this is all food for thought as we're testing this and working out the best route for uh, the revision of our molecule uh, render node stroke extremely high powered workstation. So you're going to have to forgive me. This is an absolute mess, but we're really kind of showing you the science behind this. So looks aren't everything at the moment. Um, so as I said, this is our revision two, which is actually going to be the older revision of the molecule workstation from render boxes. Now inside this, the way that we've got this laid out, this cluster of cables, we've got six of the EK Azus Collaboration 3090 GPUs. They're single slot. Um, now you can see the way that we've got these all um, connect, connected to each other is actually in series. There is an EK manifold here, but again, this is a test rig. So there's all different test parts going on here. Um, these are all cool Lance quick disconnects that we always use that are basically looping from one GPU to the next. Um, the CPU, um, is a Xeon W series with a Super Micro um, X11 motherboard, but we're not calling the CPU. This is just a test rig for the GPUs. Um, so that's all going to there. We've got a feed. Um, this is the out and this is the in. And that is coming down over across here to a water cool Mora 3 420. Now, the 420 is, um, it's just brilliant. We're really, really excited to use it. We've used the 360 in the past in the first molecule build, which was internal, but we're, we're designing a new, um, a new product and we're gonna be calling that the flow module. And the flow module is effectively gonna be an outboard cooling solution um we've got that running with dual aqua computer d5 pumps which are just simply amazing um they've got built-in pwm control and temp sensors so this whole kind of kit here that you can see is effectively a kit that you can buy from watercool um, but we're building our own chassis that this and some other items are going to go into and that will that will make the flow module so you have four 200 mil noctua pwms on here that's being controlled by the dual d5 pumps and all of the fan curves and everything can all be set up on these uh sort of small led readouts that are uh, on each pump they're really brilliant pumps the best that we've seen so far and uh quick release cool lance inlet and outlet going to this big old rad uh, we've also got a flow sensor here and that's so we're sort of running 1.7 to 1.9 litres a minute at the moment. We've uh, tried a few that the pumps are at about, I think, 85 percent. And I'll be honest, th this works perfectly. So we've just got a couple of PWM Arctic P12s. There's no fan control or anything going on at the moment. The actual noise that you can hear is the eight pack two kilowatt power supply underneath, which doesn't have an eco mode. So it's just quite annoying and loud. I mean, it's not that loud, but you know, um, and if we move over to here, we've got Octane Bench, Windows Pro, the latest update, 20 OH2, 20 20H2, I'll get confused all of them. So the idle temps, um, it's 21, 0.5 in this room uh ambient and that's what we're idling at which is nothing short of absolutely amazing um you know between the mora three radiator and these brilliant new blocks from ek and azus um you know the power draw is very very low and they're idling you know it's so low now, the way that we've got this set up, uh, we did mention this in the thermal 
um, video beforehand. We use an MSI afterburner to effectively limit the TDP per GPU. So we've knocked this down 75%. We've tried just about everything all the way down to 60%. Um, and it does shave off just the tiniest amount of performance. So we're gonna start this now as we just run through a few of the other things. Um, obviously you'll start seeing the GPUs ramp up. Now we can't break somewhere around about 50C, 52C, um, under 100% load running this back to back for hours. So we'd say that this solution kind of, you know, is gonna to top out at around 50C but that's only on a couple of the GPUs because as I said, they're in um, series. So we're actually making our own manifold because we need more. This is gonna be an eight way system, but we've only got six GPUs at the moment. Um, the EK1 is a maximum of six, or we could combine two fours, but we're probably just gonna just have our own one made. We've drawn it up and that might just be a better way to do this. Um, but the manifold isn't going to be there because this case is going to be slightly revised. So this really is just a test bench, but it gives us all something to go off of. So move back over here. As I said, 75% power limit. Everything's starting to kind of heat up now. So you can see, you know, Windows will never show all of these GPUs in their true allocation in order. But we can kind of see from those temps that because it's in series, obviously the liquid temp gets hotter as it goes for each GPU. So we can only assume it's kind of starting really nice in the mid 30s and then gets up to, I mean, at the moment, the highest 48. So that will get a bit higher, uh, but not much more. Um, that, in, that in turn, will make these fans go up because the fan curves on the next pumps are being worked from the coolant temperature. So as that coolant temperature hits, I mean, we can't, we can't break about 30 C on that, which again is really, really good for GPUs of this power. Um, so those fans will just ramp up with that. Now, interestingly over here, We've got the power limit. As I said, we're using one PSU here. The molecule ships with two 1600 watts, but we really wanted to test one 2K uh, eight pack and see what it did. So you can see we're nearly hitting the limit of the PSU, but for testing purposes, this really is fine. Um, so for 63090s and a Xeon W series, I'd say that's pretty damn good. So, that's kind of a bit of an overview. We won't let the Octane bench finish or we'll be here for another five minutes. Um, but we'll just keep you updated with this kind of R&D process that we go through. We go through this every time there's new GPUs, new motherboards. Um, and hey, we haven't all got lots more things to do. So some might find it really interesting and hopefully it might even help some people. So... Next video, hopefully things can start looking a bit prettier, but as we said, this really is showing you the bare bones of how we go about configuring, learning, um, and developing our systems. So, hopes that helped.